Hey guys, it's your boy Humble Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're gonna be reacting to Crip Tales from the Crip official music video. Now, this is the third and final series of the horror film like thing. Basically, it's the third and final part of the three part horror film scenes and so to celebrate his to celebrate his one million subscribers so and all I gotta say is the lap the way how it's been it's been one heck of a journey no doubt but from within the three videos or so well actually within the two and probably this one now it basically shows you a different side of Crip that people has never known. Some people has never known before. But hey, in the end, sorry, I was looking at my phone. Like I, I was meant to say, but in the end, he learned from his past and he's moved on and going so. So we better check this video out. So without further ado, let's get in the video. Into the sky. I don't know, sir. I think she's losing oxygen. All right, we gotta get him in. Come on, move, move, move. Get him to room 213 now. <sighs> All right, checking his vitals. Checking his vitals now. I'm having trouble getting the pulse. We're running out of time. Let's go. All right, sir. I got the wire saw right here. Okay, okay. Nur nurse, let me get a scalpel. We need to open I'm, this guy up right I'm now. I'm looking for it. I got Give me the damn scalpel. Doctor, 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 oxygen levels are dropping. Wow. Okay, okay, uh, give me the defibrillator. All right, here, here, everybody stand back. Clear! Okay. Hold up. Wasn't this from his... There was like a, from his album that he released last year, there was an emergency room skit thing, so I guess this ties into it, so, that's kind of cool. Man, no. Okay, so, to recap. I did my reaction to the second part, which was the night in September. If you haven't gone check it out, if you haven't gone check that out, and basically he ended up not only shooting the girl off a porch or whatever, but he ends up himself. So there you go. When I was 12, I got baptized, but I've been running from heaven since. Half the time, I wonder, does it even exist? I constantly cross the line between pleasure and sin. I try, but sometimes it seems that I just can't repent. I wonder if my grandma's looking down on me with a frown or a grin. Or maybe she's just dirt in the ground and that's how it ends. I was so strong in my beliefs as a kid, now it feels wrong though To believe in this, it's been so long since Jesus made me see He exists Why can't He just send one sign, one time, please just one line That's all I need and then I'm confined and reformed Please just bend the rules this one time I need more, I need to know that you are out there listening I need to know that there was something else I need to know that there was more than glistening I need to know that I'm not by myself That's what the world wants to hear me say But I know that I'm saved by eternal grace And the day that I get to the pearly gates, my grandma Grandma's gonna meet me and say my name. The world's gotten so backwards. Everybody roots for you to fail. And God's the last thing that matters. No wonder it's a living hell. Bang on this operating table, it's impossible to save me, and I'm probably fading into the dark. Hated for the thoughts that I'm saying. I know my coffin is waiting, and my haters are praying. I don't see tomorrow, cause they know my father make it, then I'm not in their way. And their journey to the top would be easier to make. But secretly, they wanna peep into the operating procedure just to see it is still a piece of my brain. And they can take it for what they know what to do with it. They're not creative enough to make the music I did. But the same beat, same bars, same rhymes, same bows. I would kill mine, but they fucking ruin the shit. And they're too stubborn to admit that I'm influencing them. Too busy judging me while I'm making some moves in this bitch. Because I'm careful at who I choose to include in this crypt. I'd rather be judged by 12 than be carried by 6. So many haters are waiting in the emergency room. They want to see the doctor come out and say, I'm not pulling through. War pulling through. And the ER is crowded. There's so much noise, but there's no damn talent. I laid that brain dead on a stage. 
the me all right basically the skit was like a 30 seconds or so but literally this video is four minutes and 34 seconds right now we're positive that it's 303 we're almost at the end but it's like this whenever this man goes into his rapping ability bro it's game over but I want to go back to some bars he said about like about the Jesus bar like the Jesus lyric or so because I've always been conflicted on it I know there's a God but have you ever known if he's big? well sorry adverb but we're not going in there but hey man that's but another thing he's talking about how haters always want to see him see his downfall but hey that's why he like I said like I said at the beginning of this video he's learned from his past and so and so so he tries to move on and he is and like he said he got a million subscribers well when I checked it it's a million point one but you know what I mean but basically he moved on and he's prospering and so but hey it's just like this haters are gonna hate it's kind of funny all these motherfuckers are waiting on me to die but even if I die I'm always living in your mind my name is Crip bitch I've been dead this whole time on the inside when I write on my rhymes bitch it feels like I can almost fly but then I realize no one likes any time that I spit but fuck it I keep it real cause it feels right when I write down all of my rhymes no matter what I do so body will cry you're too offensive you're not inclusive but it's none of your business I will write my music stop trying to change me to fit your vision I will do it I will just refuse it if you don't like it then don't fucking listen there's plenty of Hey, that is true. If you don't like somebody's music, then don't try to change them. That's how they want to do it. That's If that's how the artists want to do their music, that's how they're going to keep doing their music. If they want to change it somehow, it's because, of they, it's because they say they want to change it. Not because you say so. If you don't like it, then stop listening then. There's other million people in the... There's many other people in the world who's going to want to listen to it. You don't have to listen to it. If you like your other side of music, that's you. Go listen to it. But other people are going to like his music. So, you, it's like this. With him, you can say all the hatred you want and so and so. It's like this. At the end of the day, to me personally, it's not going to affect him. Because he's going to, he's going to have more followers and so. Who actually likes his music. They don't just like it for a cloud or whatever and so and so. They actually like it because it actually has a message. It actually has meaningful stuff towards it and he actually has a purpose for it. So, if you don't like his music, okay, that's you. Go listen to your type of music. There's there's many music around the world. If you don't like his, his music in general, that's fine. Go on him. But know this, other people are gonna wanna listen to his music too. Do I should have zig, wanna zag? Everybody tell me I should try something different. But when I do, they tell me that they miss our rap. It's a catch 22, so tell me what's the difference if I do. See, and that's another thing. How you going you literally, you tell him to switch up, right? And he did, he did something different. But then all of a sudden, now y'all gonna talk. You the same person who wanted him to switch up his style. And now you gonna say that you missed his rap and... I wish that, or I wish that he would go back. That's why. That's why some fan, That's why most artists don't want to listen to their fans because sometimes they don't know what the heck they want. They really don't. Do what you want, then I won't like it. If I do what I want, then you won't like it. If I do what they want, then no one likes it. The only option is to just stay silent. Well, that is true. That is somewhat true too. The only if. It's like this, if you, if you, if you do the, if you do what they say, you won't like it. And if you do what you say, they won't like it. And if you don't do it, nobody else will like it. You might as well, then, the, it's like you said, the only option is just stay silent. Don't say nothing. That's, a, that's real, like... One minute you said, one minute you did something that they said, you're not going to like it. Because you know it's not you. 
the next minute you do something that you wanted to do, they don't like it because they, they some, they just hate no joke or so. But then it's like, but it's basically like you can't satisfy some. You cannot always please everyone. So just stay silent then. Going out there. But hey man, that's the end of the video guys, but it's basically like this. From my moral part of the story is do what suits you. Don't follow it, don't follow and if you're gonna wanna take advice from people, make sure it's the people who actually want you to succeed more. Not the ones who are jealous and so and so. Make sure it's the ones who actually want you to grow more and so. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. By the way, I'm looking at my phone, right? I'm still, I'm at 73 subscribers. It's not, I want to be able to reach 100, guys. Hit that subscribe button for me. Because I want to be able to do something special for when I reach 100. So just hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you do. But like I said, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep your hands up. Thank you.